done is uh, block me through my gamer tag, and I'll block you. Every time I've seen you, you've been hiding in a room or around the corner, dude. I just I don't play hard like that. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> What's good everybody, it's your boy Big Gun for Hire Bringing you a game of Hardcore Kill Confirm And now that the honeymoon is over Let me give you guys my opinion about what I think of this game, Black Ops 3 Now, like I say, the honeymoon is over There is no... All of the excitement is died down we went through the beginning of the game when it first came out. We just finished the, the Christmas news uh, stage. So we pretty much settled a, a lot of us prestige. Some of us prestige like already about fifth prestige or whatever. So we pretty pretty good settled in, in the game. We, we know how to play the game. We pretty much got the camping um, uh, spots already uh, set and uh, we're feeling good you know what I'm saying we're feeling good right now so I think it's a perfect time right now to give you guys my opinion about the game now right off the bat right off the bat I believe that this is the best Call of Duty to come out since Modern Warfare 3 uh, although Ghost to me is better in a sense of um, playability and the way the, the heat detection and, and and the way the game um, the heat detection and, and, and uh, the balance is the most balanced game Ghost uh, it doesn't have a high playability value because the people just don't find, find it boring. So this this one is is a lot more fun to play, even though it doesn't have that balance and that heat detection that ghosts have. But it's still a, a lot of fun to play, and that's why I believe that this one is the best one to come out since. Uh, Modern Warfare 3. I think Modern Warfare 3 is a little bit better than this one for the fact that Modern Warfare 3 was fun to play, in my opinion. It was fun to play and it was, uh, it had that great heat detection and stuff like that. So it, it, it outbeats this one. But I think this game is really good. I think that it's, it's bringing it's, it's bringing all uh, people back into the Call of Duty franchise. It's a game that Activision desperately needed in order to maintain the Call of Duty franchise uh, alive. If this game were to uh, sucked, I think Activision would have been dead. Um, dead with this game. Uh, I think Call of Duty franchise would have would have died if this game would have really sucked. Um, but they 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 saved themselves with this one. Now I think look at your boy going uh, being a team player taking down that that Tonka truck, uh, the Tonka tank. Now. Uh, I believe this game would have been a lot better and probably the best Call of Duty to come out if they would have left it alone as far as the nerfing concern. Um, they nerfed this game too much, in my opinion. They should have left it alone. I think that, that if they would have left the game alone from the beta stage when it first came out better, and they would have left it alone, this game would have been a lot better. It would have been pretty much one of the, if not the best Call of Duty to ever come out. But they started nerfing stuff, 
nerfing kill streaks, nerfing, uh, nerfing, nerfing everything from kill streaks to to weapons to uh, perks, even perks that nerf some perks. You know, they just keep nerfing stuff and and uh, a specialist uh, attributes and whatnot. And, and it, 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 it had kept this game from being the best game, Call of Duty game to come out, you know. Um, once again, it's just my opinion. But uh, I have been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. And I, I believe that the best part of Call of Duty has always been the learning curve and learning how to play the game. And and uh, and uh, they the developers uh, Treyarch uh, they they pretty much is making the game too easy so that people can just come in and and uh, and play and and they, there's no learning behind it besides war running and stuff like that okay whatever but you know. I think that that learning how to control your weapon and and finding the best way to 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 combat different playing styles and how to uh, attack a certain area, you know, the the learning curve of the game, how how to, to how to uh, uh, react in certain situations, the, the, that type of stuff, you know. It has been taken away by by nerfing, you know. I, I you know if you know, there's not the first time that we had games where a weapon was uh, OP or or a kill streak was or a kill streak was OP or, or a certain uh, perk was OP. We had we had that before, you know, in Black Ops in Black Ops in original Black Ops. The Famas was OP, but everyone found a way. Look at look at your boy going ham right now. But everyone found a way to counter that. You know what I'm saying? Counter goals, counter the uh, Famas. The same thing with uh, Black Ops 2 when it came out. Um, there was weapons that were OP, and we found a way to counter them. And 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 you know the Target Finder was OP for people believe it was OP. You know, we find a way to counter that and and be able to continue to play and do and do well. You know, you but like I say, this game, all in all, the game is better than Advanced Warfare. It is better than Ghost. It is better than um, than Black Ops Two. So. I think it's a good game. I think that we're gonna have a good black, uh, a good Call of Duty year, um, and I think that this is a game that a lot of people gonna play uh, past the uh, even when 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 uh, the next Call of Duty comes out because I, I, you know, there are a lot of rumors. You know, people, you know, a lot of people say that that the next Call of Duty is gonna be Ghost Two. And I think that title right there is gonna turn off a lot of people. People wanna continue to play this. Um, it, it, I think it will be a, a very a silly, stupid move by uh, Infinity War to do this, um, you know. But if that's the case, you know, I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna play it because, like I say, I think that that Ghost wasn't was it was. It wasn't as entertaining, but I believe that even if they make Ghost 2, um, they have they have hired back the guy behind Call of Duty 4, one of the guys behind Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. I think that to 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 work with the multiplayer aspect of the game, and I think he's gonna take Ghost. Uh, the Ghost franchise to that to that Modern Warfare 2 level, to where it's gonna be as much fun as Modern Warfare 2. But you know, playing it, playing it, um, you know, as Ghost 2. So 
if that's the case, then I think that that one will be the best Call of Duty ever. If somehow you can merge Modern Warfare 2 with Ghost, I think you'll have the best Call of Duty ever. So we'll see, man. You know uh, what's gonna, how is that gonna work? If that's the, if that's what they're going after, that's what they're trying to do. Um, personally, like I say, if if that, if this game will be played way after, uh, probably all the way to Black Ops Four comes out, because Advanced Warfare Two. If, I, if they decide to make Advanced Warfare Two. Forget about it. That's gonna be a total failure. Anyway, man, your boy went 24 and 7. You know, like a boss. Thank you for watching. I really like this game. I think this is gonna be a fun Call of Duty year. And I'm glad that Black Ops 3 doesn't suck. So peace and adios. Hey, and 21. Man, you better go watch Tactical Angel, man. Here's some kids.